Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know that it's been a little while since the last video, but I think today's video is going to be pretty cool seeing the campus from the outside. It's going to be a campus tour. I'm not really going to go inside the buildings just because COVID precautions and I think we'll save that for another vlog, but it's going to be an outdoor campus tour just to see all the buildings and what we have on campus. So let's go. So behind me is the fitness center. There's like um, the gym in there. I can't go in there right now because of COVID precautions, but inside basically it's all the sports locker rooms, the gyms, um, training centers. What else? The swimming pool, racquetball, and all the courts. So it's basically just where all of the fitness stuff is. And that's obviously the field behind me. It's um, for soccer and lacrosse. Yeah, you get the point. Okay, so this is called Tiernan Hall. Um, it basically has classrooms and I think most labs are in here. So that's one educational building then the one right after it with like the red things you see that's called faculty memorial hall there's also classrooms in there and now we're walking towards campus center that's like the main building it's the gray one right in front of us this is kuprian hall it also has classrooms i think i had like english in here um and i and math so it just like whatever subjects and it'll be listed on schedules and stuff, but that's also one of the buildings with classrooms. Now we're gonna walk towards Campus Center and I can actually show you guys inside. So behind me is Campus Center and basically, so the dining hall is in there and other places to eat like a salad place and a pizza place there's also offices on the other floors and places to study so um i don't know if i'll get to the second and third floor but i'll show you guys the, the first floor when i go pick up food That's where the tennis courts are, um, and that's all I know that's in that building. <laughs> well. So over here, what I just showed is Cypress Hall and Redwood Hall. They're the two freshman dorms on campus, so I think that it's only freshmen in those dorms. I know Redwood for sure is only freshmen. Um, but this is where the two dorms are that's the makerspace behind me and it's not only the makerspace it's um, called the GITC building so it's also the building where all the comp sci classes are it's so every kind of department has their own building the engineering department has their own building um, and this is the computer science department or the Yingwu College of Computing so that's where everything is, like the professor's offices and most of our computer science classes. 
The makerspace is basically a place where you have to get certified and they have a lot of material for you to build, like 3D printers, laser cutters, stuff like that. It's just, it's very cool. It's good for entrepreneurship and engineering. Um, so all you do is get certification. There's like a few classes that you need to attend. I mean, trainings, depending on what level you want. So that's very useful. I actually did it last year. It was very interesting. And once it's still open, even though COVID is going on, you, of course there's restrictions, but it's very useful. It adds a lot of resources. That's University Center, right there. It's um, considered off-campus apartments, but it's, it's obviously right across the street. So that's just one of the places where um, people get dorms. Right past the makerspace is the library and the business school so that's the Martin Tuchman School of Management so here's the library and then on the other floors it's like the business school right across from the library and the School of Management is the mechanical and industrial engineering building so you can kind of see where we are we came all the way from there um, and that's campus center so now we're gonna walk to the left this is kind of like a little road here it's a one-way street um, and then I'll show you guys the NJIT building that's on most pictures. This is Cullimore Hall. It's right across from Campus Center. I actually had an economics class here and I know that there's a lot of um, offices upstairs and administrative offices like the math department is here. I know that for sure. Um, I think maybe the humanities department is here. That's Fenster Hall. I've actually never been inside, but right across from it, there's a bridge and it goes to Campus Center. So you see that's Campus Center. It's just the opposite side of where we were before. All right, this is the famous building that, that's in a lot of pictures. Um, it's the Alumni Center and it's called Eberhart Hall. So also, You'll probably recognize this from pictures, but that's like the NJIT sign where people take pictures when they graduate. So it's a very famous place to take pictures. The building is really pretty from inside and hopefully I'll get to show you guys that sometime soon. Okay, so right next to me actually this is Kupfrian Hall. We saw it before just from the other side. And on my left is CKB. It's called Central King Building. This used to be a high school. It's actually really cool from the inside. They, and it's a really huge building. It goes to the other side and there's like an innovation space. Actually, I'll show you guys that because it's super awesome. But there's a lot of classrooms in here. There's also a lot of study spaces, not only study lounges, but like individual study rooms, group study rooms, the tutoring centers, I think most of them are here. I know that the math and physics ones are here, but a lot of things go on in this building. Obviously, a lot of things are online now, so that's something to check out too. But this is one of the main buildings on campus and it's super nice to study in. So over here, is the Microfabrication Innovation Center. Honestly, I've never been inside there. I have no clue what it is, but that's what it looks like on the outside. And then right across from it is Campbell Hall. Um, there's offices here and there's a center for counseling. So that's there. And over here is the architecture building. We'll actually walk closer. Right next to the architecture building is the campus bookstore. Okay, right now we're on Warren Street. This is the main street going through campus. So 
here's the parking deck. Um, and here's Laurel Hall. It's really big, actually. That's Laurel Hall, and then that's a different building. But Laurel, I think it's mostly, not necessarily upperclassmen, but just everybody except for freshmen, I believe. Right next to Laurel is Oak Hall. It's also a dorm. Um, but Oak is different than the other dorms because it has kitchens, it has suite style living, um, and uh, the biggest addition really is the kitchens, I believe. But those are all of the dorm halls, including the Honors College dorm, which is where we're going to right now. Right behind Honors is the Greek village, so all the Greek houses are there, and they also have suite style living. So that's pretty cool. And I heard the houses are really nice inside and the rooms are pretty big. So let's check it out. Now we're gonna go to a pretty important place on campus right now. And that's the COVID testing center. And I'll make a whole vlog about like college with COVID at a different time but this is definitely important to know like where it is and just to see how easily accessible it is so i'll show you that okay so that container box thing over there that's the covid testing center it's right next to the greek houses it's right on warren street which like i said is the main street going through here it's also right next to the honors building and right across from the WEC, which is the fitness building that you saw in the beginning. Um, here's the honors building from the front. There's the COVID testing center. And over here is the fitness building. So it's like basically accessible from anywhere on campus. I think I showed you guys all of campus. I hope I didn't miss anything. Um, it kind of sucks that I can't go inside all the buildings right now and do an inside tour, but hopefully sometime soon I'll be able to do that. I do have access to a lot of the buildings just because classes and stuff. I just don't really want to smush it into two vlogs. Um, yeah. It's getting chilly outside. Let's go back. All right, that's the end of the campus tour. Um, I hope it was like cool and useful. I know that it's hard to follow location wise when it's being recorded but it's not a big campus um so it's pretty easy to get around and yeah that's really it stay tuned for more videos though bye